Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I somehow managed to delete all of the original introduction clips when I was transferring the files from my camera to my laptop. So I'm now filming this after my exam has finished, but I thought it was necessary to give you context. So as the title suggests, I had a 24 hour at home exam from Thursday at 12 p.m. till 12 p.m. today. It was for my innovation management module, which is what I was preparing for in my last vlog and what I've been doing reading for over the past couple of weeks in videos. So I did film my reaction to the questions, but unfortunately I don't have this footage anymore. But to summarize, I was annoyed because in all of the past papers that were given to us, there was always three questions. However, in the paper that we were given, it was four questions that were all way completely differently to the three questions. At CBS they also have a character count and a page limit rather than a word count and basically the fact that it was only four questions now meant that there was a reduced character count for each question. I don't know if this is making sense but basically each question had to be around 400 and something words which really isn't a lot of words to meet all of the requirements that they wanted to do well in the exam. However, obviously I just had to get on with it and I started by setting a two hour time block using Forest. And my plan was to do all of the questions yesterday, so on Thursday, and to get down a really good first draft. And then this morning I was just gonna check over everything. Please excuse all of the background noise. There are quite a lot of kids playing outside right now, which is kind of distracting, but it has been an hour and a half so far and I have written the first question. It only ended up being 425 words, but it's actually so difficult fully answering the question within that word limit and actually getting all of the reading and the references that I think they'll want us to include into that answer. And I don't know if they're expecting us to write it like a mini essay within 400 words. So I've kind of done an introduction, haven't really done a conclusion and just sort of like merged all of the main body into one. With the remaining half an hour of this two hour block that I'm doing at the moment, I'm gonna plan out the second question. but just out of principle that I don't want to sit in that chair for any longer than I need to today. I'm gonna sit on my sofa and eat and I'm gonna have an hour long break, I think. I'm gonna do two hours on, one hour off. <laughs> So whilst I'm still on my lunch break, I thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark, and why having a VPN is really useful as a student. So a VPN stands for a virtual private network, and it's basically something that keeps your identity secure when you're online by encrypting all of the information that is shared between your device and the internet. So to put this into context, I spend a lot of time working in different cafes across Copenhagen and I always use a VPN when I connect to the public Wi-Fi networks at these cafes because it basically just means that my personal data is kept secure. Another thing I love as an exchange student is a VPN allows me to swap the location of my device back to the UK, which means that 
that I can watch any TV shows and anything on Netflix that is available in the UK but isn't available here in Denmark. So if this is something that sounds useful to you as a student as well then make sure to go and check out the link in the description and also use the code Lydia because that gives you 83% off Surfshark and also three months extra free. Just finished writing my second answer, so now I'm gonna start planning question three. I have just finished the third question. However, it is shit. I haven't even done that many hours of work today, but for some reason, I'm finding this so intense. I think it's just quite demanding to do everything that they want within the character count that they've established. So I'm gonna have a super early dinner in the hope that that will give me some more energy to continue. Right, it is quarter past six and I have spent the last half an hour on TikTok, which is not the vibe, is not helping to finish my exam and this is exactly what I feared would happen after I'd eaten because I'm just slipping back into my normal routine where this time of the day I'm just relaxing and not really doing anything. So I've decided to actually go to the library because the main CBS library is open like 24 hours long I think and I'm hoping that the change of scenery will motivate me to do a few more hours work and finish question four. half past eight on Friday and I got up at seven this morning to finish this exam because obviously it's due at 12 today. I finished writing my fourth question in the library yesterday so now all I have to really do is double check over everything to make sure that I'm actually answering the questions which I'm quite worried about and do my references because I should have done them as I went along that is what I recommend doing but I was just in such a frenzy yesterday to actually answer the questions that I left it all to do this morning. Done. 
two hours ahead of deadline, which is actually pretty good. Although now I really don't know what to actually do with myself because I really anticipated having to work up until the last minute. But yeah, thank God that that is over now. I am so done. I am so tired. That really drained all of my energy for some reason. But I hope that you have enjoyed this chaos of a vlog. I'm sorry if it wasn't up to normal standards. I'm sure you understand why. <laughs> it's been a stressful 24 hours, but I will see you in the next video, which hopefully should be a little bit more chill. <laughs>